everybody Cass here and today we're taking a look at the infected this is a crafting survival horror zombie-esque game that I thought looked interesting I had seen it played recently so I decided to take a look at it myself and I figured I'd bling bring <laughs> bling I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride so without any further ado we'll just get right into it um I'm not actually entirely clear on the control. So WASD moves you around, space to jump, uh, shift to run, C to crouch. Doesn't appear that control does anything right now. And it looks like uh, E is to pick up, and you can also right click to expand things and like destroy them. Uh, and there is there a map? Ooh, there is a map. Okay, press M for map. We're located right here. now. This says cave, and that immediately speaks to me as probably a place to set up shop. Um, this one seems the closest, and that would be... Um, the compass works kind of funky. Okay. East? So... Nope. West. <laughs> so I want to follow this road this direction okay so we're gonna go off this way but we're going to pick some stuff up on the way now what opens inventory okay so i opens inventory um fortunately i have that rebound for myself let's see what oh uh crafting okay um what do i uh how do I craft? I got nothing. What's that? Technology. Oh. Oh. So this is stuff I can find. Okay. And what's this? Okay, that's my equipment. Uh, placeables. Ha. No. Not what I want. Oh, here we go. Uh, stick and small stone. So... I wonder if this is going to be particular. Three sticks and a stone. Okay. Seriously? Is it going to be like green hell? It is. Okay. Uh, Where'd that go? Oh. Uh, okay. I pressed slot one. Wait. Is there an indicator? Is there an indicator? Hold up. Um, there's no indicator about what's in my slot one. Oh, maybe this is it? That doesn't tell me. Unless these are my slots and I only have four, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, let's try chopping down a tree. That kind of came out of nowhere. Um, okay, there was... I saw on this list, there was like a spear. Wasn't there? Stone spear. Stone blade, stick, and plant fiber. How do I get plant fiber? Stone blade. Oh, I think I could craft one of those. What's that? Plant fiber. Wait. When did I get... Plant fiber. Okay. That. There. And... How many plant fiber was it? Oh, uh, not two. Okay. Um, stone blade, three sticks and a plant fiber. Okay. Since these had, I wonder, it does work like that. Okay. So it works almost exactly like green hell where you have this right click to do more to something i like it a lot okay so let's put this here split off one put that there put this here and how many of these did it need uh split mm, split half needed five okay did that put it in it did it put it in my second slot okay 
So now I have this. Uh, how many of these can I pick up? Whoa! I'm carrying them. Oh! I kind of like that. Um, let's harvest another one and get some sticks because there was a pickaxe recipe. Uh, was it a stone and a... three sticks and... Uh, split. Uh, split. I'm an idiot. Okay, what was the recipe for the damn pickaxe? Stick, stone blade, and two plant fiber. Okay. So, stick. Uh, did I? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Stick, stone blade, and two plant fiber. And that... Okay, I feel adequately prepared, which probably means I'm gonna get eaten here in a minute. Um, what does the... Okay, so press... press oh, uh, whoops. I didn't even realize that I was filling quests. Whoops. Um, build a saw bench. I want to wait until we get to the cave, if that's all right with you, which looks like it's just more or less straight in front of us. Is that a roadrunner? Ooh. Oh, nope, not a roadrunner. So where... Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. Froggy. Aha! Okay. So I have a poison dart frog in my pocket now, I guess. So apparently the antagonist of this game, or bad guys, or whatever you want to call them, the zombies, they're actually like zombie-vampire hybrids, which, I don't know, that sounds kind of cool. Um, although if they're just more vampire than zombie, and the only reason they're called zombies is because they're undead... Uh, you could, you know, save your breath and just call them vampires. But I think they're called Vambies. Vambies in this game? Is that right? Um. Okay. This seems like a awfully flat area. I don't see any enemies yet, which is concerning. But the sound design is kind of funky, I'm not going to lie. Like, the game looks gorgeous. It looks way better than when I watched some other people play it. I guess they must have had their settings turned way down. Um, not a lot of lag. It moves really smoothly. It's really responsive. For the most part, the controls make sense. Um, yeah. I don't really have com any complaints about that. It just constantly sounds like somebody is walking right behind me. I mean, I think it's my own footsteps, or I'm being chased by a really elusive enemy, which uh, I wouldn't put it past me. Uh, is that a pumpkin? Can I pick it up? No, I don't want to pick it up, pick it up. I want to... Fine, I'll harvest it. Wait a second. That's right. There was a quest for that. Uh, finding... Arbs. So, can I just, uh... Um... Okay. First, I'm confused because I only have pumpkin seeds, which I guess I could eat them, but how do I... Second, the goat kind of threw me off, not gonna lie. Uh, stone spear. So I'm just pressing two on my keyboard to... I think that's the cave. Um, should I leave the goat alive? Fan of goat meat. <laughs> okay, he hit me for a good little chunk right there. Pick it up. Whoa. Uh, 
Drop it. Oh, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Rigor mortis set in right away. <laughs> All right. There was a recipe for a torch, wasn't there? Uh, torch. Stick and five plant fibers. So, split, stick. Oh, I don't have five plant fiber. I think I got that from cutting down a tree. So, give me a second. I did. Okay, so I got the plant fiber from cutting down a tree. So I'll go here. Uh, that. Split half. That. Split one. Torch. Okay. Uh, is that in my four slot now? It is in my four slot. All right. Um, oh, I really hope there's nothing bad in here. Oh, uh, oh, oh, never mind. I lied. I was going to say it's nice and bright inside. What is that? Please don't be any, like... Vampire zombie thingies in here. Uh, it's not terribly impossible to see. I mean, it's inconvenient, but it's not the end of the world. The glow of the fog is kind of nice. This is a big ass cave. Oh, am I winded? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So maybe don't run everywhere. I kind of like that you have to stop and take inventory of yourself. It's not, there's not like a bar at the bottom of the screen that's like, here's how tired you are. You all know where I stand on, um, on HUDs in video games. I think they're very essential, but I do like the idea that you have to actually kind of stop and think about it for a second by pressing F. So, uh, there's mushrooms, right? Harvest. What's this? Oh, there they are. The pumpkin slices. So I did actually keep it. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave those mushrooms because I think I'm going to build my base in here. I wonder if I can block off the entrance because it says I have to build a saw bench and then foundations. Could I just like barricade the entrance? I don't know. It's probably going to be really stupid because this is probably where the Vambies like spawn and then they're going to, you know, eat me while I'm sleeping in my bed at night. I don't know. Um, let's. Uh... OK, did anybody else just see that frog haul ass across the screen? Before landing right there? Or is that just me? Just me? Okay. Um, let's... Make that saw bench thing, but I want to do it in here. Can I... What do I... Is it B? No. Is it I? No. It's, uh... There we go. Okay. So we go here. We go to placeables. Saw bench. Four wood logs. I just I can't see anything right now, so I'm going to put it right. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to... Can I not build this in here? I oh, know I can. So I just need some um, logs. Oh, wait. I just cut down the tree up here, didn't I? Okay. So I, I like it. I like... The crafting system is very, um, oh, that was a frog. Okay. The crafting system is very, hmm, how would I compare it? The crafting system is very green hell. I like it. It feels good. It feels substantial. Got to remember to pull my axe out from not number two, where I usually keep it in other games. Um... The Oh, I don't have a shadow. Got it. Maybe I'm a vampire. That'd be a sick twist. 
uh, are you just magically making? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go with that. Is there some kind of storage? Instruction? Other? No, that's like doors. Ooh, can I? Uh, uh, rotate? So, could I? Okay. All right. I'm on board. Um, I could put fences up, I guess. I want storage. What am I doing? Jeez. Uh, placeables? Oh, storage. Here we go. Uh, log stand. I don't know how much this would potentially hold, but I'm going to put one right there. Were there other ones? There was placeable storage firewood stand i don't know what i need firewood for other than the obvious i know that that's probably a stupid thing to say but um plank stand is that what the saw bench is making planks and then placeable storage big stand uh okay and i think all of those need sticks 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 okay um Nope, I don't want that. I want this. There we go. And then I harvest, harvest, harvest. Pick up as many. Uh, can I? It's making the sound. It's just not picking them up. Um, let's build a firewood rack. Maybe I my inventory was full. Oh, no, that's exactly what it is. So the inventory and crafting system is very green hell. You have to have the physical space and it shows the layout like that. I like that. That's probably one of the best parts of that game. Um, I mean, the environment aside, it's just it's a really solid game. Uh, so Good job on the devs' part for emulating it. I like it. The building seems to be very much like the forest. I know that I'm comparing this game to a lot of other games, but it's so far it's taken like the best parts um, of other games and turned it into a pretty decent amalgamation. I'm impressed. Okay, come on. I, I think I only needed three sticks for this. Okay, so we pick up the log. Oh, wait. Um, this thing is supposed to make planks, but I don't right-click to tank planks. Um, nothing's happening. Oh, I do have planks. Um, okay. So I think those go in this one yeah and then i clean up everything else like this and we put all the firewood in there and that there and no more st there's sticks okay cool what else do i have to do water build a water basin um placeables food maybe water basin Six planks. Okay. Um, it says this is for catching rainwater, so I'm going to put one here, and we'll just put a blueprint for another one, because it doesn't actually require any materials for us to... Okay, there are some. Okay. Um, it doesn't require any materials to actually place it down, so... Oops, grab those. And I'm grabbing with right click. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I have left? I have two. I'll put those back there. And then... I guess I'll just chop down trees until I can't even stand up straight. Because it wants me to build a foundation too, right? 
build a foundation. Okay. So why don't we just grab this, go to construction, foundations. And we'll just... Build... Wait a second, can I? Oh, I can. Press N to move. And it moves the stuff with... Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, we're going to put this as low as possible, right there. And that, and that. Ooh, shit, it's raining. Um, let's move this again. And there is, there's a, there was a, <laughs> well, I don't speak no good English no more. I am so sorry. Jack-o-lantern, a light source, a pumpkin, and three sticks. And then this is a fire pot. It's five iron fragments and plant fibers. Um, I don't have a pumpkin any more. So... What do these need? These need four logs and six planks. And then, oh, those aren't going to... There's roof pieces. I can make it mesh in really well. That's fine. Um, let's just get the rest of this stuff inside. And then we'll cut logs until we can't anymore. Uh, and... I'm gonna have to get used to that one, and I'm actually gonna have to rebind some of my keypad for that. Yeah. Okay. So, one, two, three logs. Let's do this. We'll put one in here, and then we'll put two in here. And if we just do that every time for a little bit, we'll build up a nice little pile of logs. I have no idea what to expect out of this game either. If any of you guys have watched this before, or if you're interested in seeing more, let me know in the comments below. Because uh, I have a feeling I'm just going to, like, starve to death. Because I can. Put that there, and two more. Okay, so we have all the logs we need in that one. And then we grab... Wait, wasn't there only... Did that log... Did that tree just give us six logs? That seems to be more than the last tree we got. And I realize trees can be different sizes and whatnot, but I could have sworn it was just a small tree that we cut down. We'll see. Let's try this one. I think... Uh, okay, so that one only gave us three. I feel like I'm more jumpy in this game because... Because I haven't seen any enemies yet, and I'm gonna be really pissed if we build this up and I like build a wall and a door and they all spawn inside to come running out in the middle of the night. That would just be my luck. I like this because it's right off the road, so we can like just get on the road to walk. Good for navigation, I bet. I don't know. I haven't really done a lot of navigation yet. Okay, pick those up. Can I only pick up three? Yes, I can. Okay, so I have to manage my uh, carry capacity. One, two, one. Let's see, are there any... More planks in that, okay. And then we go over here, get those planks. And that should be that whole foundation. And, ooh, not even close on that one, okay. Um, let's chop down the rest of these trees right here. I'll be back with you once I've gathered uh, some more materials, because I know this could take a minute.
All right, so just to bring you back for a moment. Um, so it got really dark really fast. It's only like 10 p.m. I must be in a northern uh, latitude or something because uh, it got pretty dark pretty quick. Um, I was able to finish the f the floors, uh, which I, I want to extend out back here and then like ramp down so that it's a really easy walk out. And I think I'm going to put some kind of like maybe the triangle floor here with the triangle wall going off to the side. And then once we have these built in, I'm going to put some uh, some roofing over top of it. Um, so here's what I figured out about the fire too. You press E, um, you can go into your inventory, grab things of wood and put them here. Uh, things like bark chips and plant fiber and stuff will fuel the fire. Then you start with this lighter. So I put the lighter and I uh, clicked, or I just dropped the lighter there in the middle and it started up. Then I realized that I was dying of thirst over here. So I took a drink from my flask and it, um, wait a second. That says clean water. Oh, oh, I'm really dumb. Um, so you remember we built the the little trough for water out front here? This one? Well, this has dirty water in it. And dirty water is toxic, poisonous. It'll make you sick. It'll give you worms, something. I don't know. But if you drink it, you get sick, you lose health. So I built this campfire and unbeknownst to me, it came with a bucket. And so I filled up my flask with the dirty water and I did it and I poured it in here and I did that three times. So I had 180 units of water and then it boiled and here we are. Then I took that piece of frog meat that we had earlier and I stuck it down here on this little dot. And when it was there, it had a little timer on it, kind of like this circle here. And now we have the ability to eat. So watch our food in the bottom right. Ah, yum. So that gave us fats and proteins. That's right. Macronutrients is a thing in this game. You do have to monitor that stuff. I like that personally, but I also understand that some people do not. So we're going to eat this pumpkin too. give us some carbs. There we go. So now our carbohydrates are full. Our fats are full. Our vitamins are a little on the lacking side. Um, not terribly so, but they are. And um, I did also notice that the torch that we're using doesn't actually lose durability. Oh, OK, I thought I was hearing something on the game. I don't know if you guys can hear that over my um, over my microphone, but there is a very um, there is a very big manhood challenged truck outside that's making some noise. And if you don't know what a manhood challenged truck is, um, that would be because most people don't say it that nicely. Anyway, there's one of those outside and uh, he's being noisy at what the hell time is it? 9.50 at night. Oh, OK. Um, so that took a bunch of planks. I wanted to be able to just drop my rocks um, just to prove that I have the stones. Uh, I wanted to be able to drop that stuff. I'm going to keep the bandages on me, but I'm going to put the medical bandages in here. We'll keep the pumpkin seeds. Those don't look like they expire. And the bark chips. I don't know what the hell those are for. But yeah, we'll we'll take that. And then because we have this storage, we'll just put the planks in there. And uh, I'm going to. Uh, I, I don't know how dark it is for you guys, so I'm going to wander into this cave since it's dark in the cave, no matter what I do day or night. I want to. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Scorpion. Die, damn it. Where are you? You freaking cow. Oh, he 
did quite a bit of damage to me. Not a terrible amount. And actually, if Scorpion's where I currently live in the southwest of the United States, and uh, the little bastards. Well, I don't have much of a reaction to them. For a long time, I've. Um, I won't really go into my medical history, but I've been in many altercations with things that should have killed me. And uh, among those are a number of scorpions and spiders that nobody but my toxicologist believes has bitten me. Um, anyway, the uh, scorpions are just fine. It's when they uh, get into bed with you and your wife that they start causing problems. Um, actually, so I lived at a, a home. It was a basement apartment renting from this elderly couple that I, I won't get into. They were weird. Um, so I was renting this basement apartment from them. And one day I was sitting down in the morning, uh, like you always do, because it's morning time. You got to go to the bathroom. I was sitting there and all of a sudden I realized my foot went numb. And I just figured, you know, maybe I had been, I, cause you know, I had my phone. So maybe I had just, my legs had gone to sleep on the toilet. So I shook my leg for a second and I realized it was really numb. And I looked down and there was an Arizona bark scorpion stuck under my foot. I must've put my foot down on top of it and it was just stinging the side of my foot just as much as it could. Um, I ended up, just squishing it and that's why it was stinging me is because I was hurting it so I I didn't tell my wife and I went to work and I came back the next day and then son of a bitch all right where are you bastard okay come into the light Okay, you're hitting me from really far away. I'm just saying. Anyway, I didn't tell my wife. I went to work. I came back, and then I told my wife. And she said, you know, I'm glad you didn't tell me when you left because I would have just freaked out about it all day. And I was like, you're very welcome. So I went to Home Depot <laughs> right away, and I got a big old black light flashlight. And I decided I was going to hunt down the little bastards because they were pissing me off. So I walk out my back door and there is a six inch giant hairy desert scorpion crawling up the wall. And in case you're wondering, six inches is more than what most of you are working with in your pants. So that's a pretty damn big scorpion and they move really fast. Like, shockingly fast. Anyway, um, so I got a can of wasp spray and I went out and I sprayed it. And I was like, hey, problem solved. And our back uh, porch overlooked a, um, a big old grass field. And so I was just curious. I took a step out towards the grass field and I shined my light out on the grass and the grass looked like stars, y'all. And yes, I just said y'all. Sue me. Looked like stars. There were so many scorpions crawling through the grass. I didn't flip my shit, but I went and got a couple more cans of bug spray. And over the course of the next week, I went and I killed scorpions in our backyard, which was maybe three quarters acre not very big um i went and killed scorpions in our backyard for two hours every night um the first night that i did it i killed 276 scorpions in our backyard and the front porch but yeah 276 and it went on like that for five days where I killed over 200 scorpions every night. And then finally, the final straw was one had crawled in bed with me and my wife and stung her in the morning or stung her in the middle of the night because I wake up and she's freaking out like 
rem like freaking out and wiping the bed down it just looked like i don't know maybe there's crumbs on the bed or something so i asked her what she was doing and keep in mind i'm still in the bed and she says there's a scorpion in the bed let me tell you scorpions don't freak me out and they don't really hurt when they sting all that much i've been stung too many times but I'll be damned if I came out of that bed like a cat was coughing up a hairball. Literally, like, I came flying out of bed and eventually my feet caught up with me and found their way under me. Um, it was... Man, it was fun. Um, we contacted our landlord and we actually ended up moving because they there was an infestation of scorpions. And, uh, so we actually, we got out of our lease uh had to what the hell was that are there pigs in the game or am i about to get eaten we had to pursue legal counsel to leave that lease but uh they ended up letting us go when they realized it was going to cost them something like $7,000 over a three-month period to get it under control. So, what did they do? They rented to one of their nieces and nephews. Or nieces and nephew-in-law, whatever. I was like, whatever. I didn't say anything on our way out, and I don't regret it, because whatever happens, happens. But, uh... Anyway. That was a long story. I will, uh wait for things to lighten up a little bit and then we will uh get to it all right so it looks like we are back uh now that uh you guys can see at least a little bit of something uh add material okay add materials oh okay so we now have a door or rather, we have a doorway. Um, let's get these taken care of. Okay, so we got that one. That needs wood and logs. Or uh, logs and planks, because I don't speak English no more. One, two, three. Okay. I think I'm completely out of planks, but that's okay, because we can always craft more. So, oh, geez, I didn't even realize that we hadn't finished this pile. I would have done this in the middle of the night otherwise. Shows how much I'm paying attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's take a look at stairs. Why, uh, is it really that rock? Was that rock blocking it? That was exactly what it was. So this needs three wooden logs and four planks. So let's get the planks started. I got two planks here. So plank plank. And then put that away. Uh, grab these. Actually, it puts it away automatically. So we're good there. Okay, so that's all the logs that I need for that. <clears throat> Come on. Oof. I do like that it doesn't let you just jump with a full inventory. That's kind of a nice touch. Where is it? There it is. <sighs> I hope you guys can see something, because I can see nothing. Okay, so it looks like the front facade of our building, or our... I'm just going to probably call this an entryway, and we're going to take it back one or two more foundations, and then it'll step down into the cave, and we'll actually build, like, inside, inside for everything else, I think. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> um, okay, let's grab these and get them in there and started. As we put that there, those there. 
I will say that I understand how some people really don't like the um, the building mechanics in like the forests and stuff because it it's very closer to real than people would like to admit. You know, you can't stick a whole log in your back pocket. No matter what somebody tells you and no matter what my father says about my um, my fashion choices in junior high school, you can't fit all that much in your back pockets, no matter how baggy your jeans are. Um, so, you know, picking up a log or two, this, it just, it feels good. I like it. It's a good touch. It's solid mechanics. I have no complaints on that front. And I can't carry any more of those, so we're gonna do that. Ooh. Now I'm all tired, that's right. I was running everywhere. Um, let's see if we can't get these corners done. I wonder if I can upgrade the walls to like concrete or something. I know that's probably not anywhere near the scope of the game, but I can still be curious. Oh, let me up, dude. Okay, that one's done. And what's that leave us with? That leaves us with two. So, process another log. Let's go cut some more trees down. So I think we need like a door two. And I think I'm gonna have to make a new ax here. I could be wrong, but I think this symbol in the bottom right hand corner is um, durability. I haven't really been paying attention, but it would make sense. I'm gonna personally deforest this entire area. My degree weeps. Um, so not that it means anything to anybody, but my degree is actually in earth and environmental sciences, like conserving the environment and stuff. And my favorite kind of game is the kind where I can uh, deforest an entire location all by myself. Like this. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. I'm a bastard. Oh, uh, speaking of funny names and name calling and all that stuff, um, there has been a suggestion for what I should call you guys. Um, I think I asked it in one of my Medieval Dynasty videos what you guys wanted to be called, because... There are those YouTubers out there that call people Samurai and Fam and Bra and all that shit that I refuse to say. Um, <laughs> but somebody suggested that I call you guys Castholes. So I really want to know in the comments below what you guys think of that. <laughs> I think it's funny, but I can also understand if you don't want to be called Castholes. So, um... Yeah, let me know. <laughs> oh, that's right. Don't run everywhere. Okay. Well, with the exception of combat, we've actually looked quite a bit into this game. Um, and I think that's where we're going to call it for right now. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. Of course, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Join me over on Twitter and Discord. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does show support for the channel, which I do much appreciate. If you want to support me in a more direct manner, join me at patreon.com forward slash control alt silent. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.